Cheers. Mm. People sure do hate it when I do that. <laughs> In these videos, I have mixed this beautiful with Christmas sale. I've mixed it with rum. I've mixed it with whiskey. I have put it in tap water, shit, I even snorted it. Probably other things that I've forgotten because I killed brain cells by snorting it. The question that I get the most from people that watch these, aside from, I thought you were supposed to be a comedian, isn't this guy a comedian? Is probably, uh, what's up with the mustard? My answer is that I do because I love it. I do because I love this and I'm very proud of it. And I think Clevelanders should be very proud of this right here. We have our own mustard. That's awesome. I think that's great. We have a mustard that is original and unique to here. And I think that it should be a greater source of pride for the city of Cleveland. We have two of them actually. We have Burtman Original Ballpark Mustard, as well as the Inferior Ripoff Stadium Mustard. If we're being honest, they pretty much taste the same. Any flavor differences are nominal. You can be a dick about it and talk about how refined your palate is if you want, but they're nearly the same guy product. Look at the ingredient. Burtman's is distilled vinegar, number one mustard seed, salt, sugar, spices. That's it. Stadium mustard is vinegar, number one mustard seed, salt, and red pepper. You have to pick one though. You can't just go, oh, I like them both. No. There is no fence sitting in the great Balloon Town USA Mustard Wars. You gotta pick one. You can't just go, oh, I'll be neutral like some sort of Swiss <laughs> No. We are at war here, Cleveland. Mustard war. In the immortal words of Omar from The Wire, a man's gotta have a coat. A, a person's gotta have a coat. We'll be gender neutral here. You gotta have a coat. You gotta pick a mustard. You can't just say, oh, I like them both. Bull Don't be a bitch about this. In 1920, what was actually the Burtman Pickle Company, was started uh, around East 47th in Kinsman by a Polish immigrant named Joe Bertman. Now, Joe Bertman was a hustler. Joe Bertman uh, sold and made a number of different foods as well as goods. He's kind of moved and sold and made whatever he could to get by. Uh, his most famous being this tasty treat right here. Stories kind of conflict over the years on whether or not his first major customer was either League Park, where the Indians first played, or uh, Municipal Stadium where they had played from about 31 until, what, 94? But either way, Berman's Ballpark Mustard has been a part of Cleveland sports, a, part, a major institution in Cleveland sports since about the, the 30s. It's been around for forever. Until the 1970s, Berman Ballpark Mustard was only sold like by the gallon. And it wasn't sold to stores, it was sold to different institutions like the stadiums, uh, hospitals, schools. Places like that, that's what Joe Bertman decided to focus on. Uh, and then in about the 70s, a guy named David Dwoskin approached him saying that he had loved this spicy brown mustard that he had had at Old Municipal Stadium. Tried it when he was 12, couldn't get out of his mind. He wanted to package this and market it in a retail capacity. So he signed on as a retailer for Bertman Ballpark Mustard. It was working great throughout the 70s. Dwoskin handled the retail sales uh, Bertman handled the institutional sales. It was all harmony. So then in the 80s, the two ended up having a falling out over who knows what. But that split is what led to the two nemeses. Bertman kept Bertman original ballpark mustard and Dwoskin ended up taking his product over to the other side. Apparently he never added any sort of sugar and he ended up forming stadium mustard, which has become its own thing. That's the Bertman story. Now, two sides to every story. Dwoskin, who still owns uh, Stadium Mustard, apparently it's in about 175 stadiums at this point, uh, he said that neither of them really invented it or started it, that uh, they actually got it from an unnamed company in Chicago, and both were just marketing it and selling it in different capacities side by side. Um, that is until he says that the Bertmans added a little bit of sugar started calling it their own thing in about the 80s and just have been lying to people. Who knows? Chances are the truth is somewhere in the middle, but I prefer to believe the Bertman side of things. It's my preference at least. They're older, been around longer. Their website says that Joe invented it in the 20s and on top of that, they're the ones that progressive field. I feel like that holds more weight. 
Stadium mustard is at first energy as well as uh, Romo Fijo, but the baseball mustard is the one that matters. Nobody gives a shit about the football mustard or the basketball mustard. Baseball hot dogs are, are, are baseball food. So I think that being the baseball mustard does hold more weight as far as my opinion is concerned. Either way, who gives a shit? Now an opinion that does matter would be the king of Cleveland food. The current king, Michael Simon. Michael Simon is Team Burtman's. He says that he thinks it's a little more of a kick to it, a little more acidity, and he chooses Burtman's over stadium mustard. Um, he definitely chooses either over yellow mustard, which I think we all do yellow mustard. Probably made by Heinz. I feel like we should all stop eating Heinz ketchup. It'd be a difficult undertaking to take because Hunt's is an inferior product, but Pittsburgh, let's not give them anything more than they already have. All that aside, Michael Simon is Team Burtman, and he actually, that is the base of his barbecue sauce. He does not use a ketchup-based barbecue sauce. He uses a Burtman ballpark mustard barbecue sauce uh, at his Mabel's restaurants, which is phenomenal. Go try it as soon as you can. Hell, even if it is from Chicago, where stadium mustard is currently made, as opposed to Ohio, where ballpark mustard is currently made. Even if it is from Chicago, who cares? It's ours. It's Cleveland's now. It's like rock and roll. It's not invented here, but we named it. Name is Keeper. If you take anything from this video, uh, I hope is that you should be eating more mustard. You should be telling more people to eat this mustard. You should be shoving it in your children and loved ones' faces. Anybody you see from out of town, make sure that they know what this is and that it's within reaching distance of them. Just preach the good word of Burtman Ballpark mustard or <laughs> Cleveland mustard in general. You can put it on sandwiches. You can dip pretzels into it. Of course, put it on a hot dog or you can just take it right to the <laughs> face. Go Browns.